Hello again, minions. Welcome to another weekly wrap up. I'm Wheezy. Today we're going to go over everything you missed on the channel this week, and we're going to discuss crossplay, how important it is, and whether or not it's the future. Let's go. Okay, minions, let's jump right into it this week as usual. I actually have to tell you about a video I forgot to mention like a week ago, slightly over a week ago, actually, which is before the last weekly wrap up, I have actually uploaded episode three of Horizon Zero Dawn to Wheezy's story time. I completely forgot to mention it, but better late than never. And here's a clip from that. You mother... Stab him. Stab him in the taint. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. I'm gonna stab you in the taint, bruh. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... You're... Oh, 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 Aloy, Mike, drop, biatch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well. For she is a brave now. Ooh! Yeah, I did, because I'm amazing. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. Except for you, Bust, because you're a dick. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among you. <laughs> Holy shit, that was unexpected. Oh, fucking... Oh, God. Oh, God. Holy shit. That is not cool. We have bows and arrows. Oh, shit. Oh, Bast. I don't feel bad for you at all. Yeah, if you guys are looking for more story time stuff, go check out that channel, check out that video. Links for everything, obviously, are down in the description, as usual. So, let's move on to the main channel, what got uploaded this week. The first video I uploaded was a game of me playing Modern Warfare uh, with my son Sebastian and killing bots uh, in a, you know, an offline lobby, basically. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to train up Seb on you know his first person shooter skills we've been playing some zombies moving him up to playing some bots in modern warfare and it was a good time as as like uh we've been seeing here um well if you check out the video you'll see seb is a lot like i was kind of in the origin of this channel several years ago at least as far as how he can get angry at the, at the game so here's a clip from that video. good god Wait, did we just... Huh? I killed Are you still on the other team? Oh. oh, Jesus, they're both in there. How are their weapons so strong? They're like one shot in me. Well, there was two of them, I think, so... Yeah, what, these weapons kill you. I'm gonna take this gun. God damn it! Be sure to go check that out for more Angry Seb and just good times. I'm really enjoying kind of taking those uh, times playing with him and then turning him into videos. It's pretty entertaining. So um, after that, I finally... I created a video because finally Treyarch added the ability to save custom we weapon loadouts in Cold War. Been, this was day one, Modern Warfare 2019, and we're in 2021, and they just, in May, and they finally added the ability to save custom classes for your weapon loadouts in Cold War. So I created a video just for people who are looking for this and want to find it. So in case you guys want to check it out, here's a short clip from that. So let's take a look at this. First, I'm going to roll in a clip of the first time I launched this yesterday. And as soon as I tried to save a custom class, the game actually crashed. 
which is pretty typical Cold War, let's be honest. But anyway, let's walk through how they have finally, six, seven months later, <laughs> patched in the ability to save custom loadouts. This, uh, this, it's like, I'm so spoiled by this absolutely basic stuff that would otherwise have been like, oh yeah, this was like day one <laughs> modern warfare stuff. Um, but finally, finally it's been added here. So you know what? We're going to be happy about it. So, so yeah, go check that out. The, the idea behind these kind of how-to videos, probably even more so than some of you like regular subscribers and the people who watch videos like the weekly wrap up is so that people who are just searching for this stuff on YouTube or online can find it. That brings people to the channel that grows my minions and I need more and more of you so that we can have this awesome community that we're trying to build here. Um, so after that, in that same vein, speaking of which, I kind of decided on Wednesday, I was trying to figure out what video to upload and decided to make a short. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing like a short once a week on Wednesday-ish, um, but I decided to take one of these games where I was uh, getting some the reptile camos for the car 98 in modern warfare so i was playing with it naked and i got in a game where basically this one guy had kept pissing him off by killing him and so in the death chat he would say mean things to me so i made a short of it before it's shorts i've kind of like teased you guys but it's only a minute long for a short so rather than being a dick i'm just gonna go ahead and put that entire short right here for you right now no control Faggot, bro. I gave him something to think about. Good work. Yeah. Fuck out of your spawn. Actually, both of you guys are. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> Next time you can talk when you're a bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up, so faggot. Saying. You're literally camping. So I literally wasn't. Oh, you're camping, okay. faggot. You're camping. You're camping, faggot. So there you go. Keep an eye out for shorts. If you use YouTube on mobile, then you're, you're probably going to come across that stuff a little more easily. It's, shorts aren't quite as findable <laughs> on desktop, which is primarily where I watch YouTube, so I'm being mindful of that stuff. But if I find, I got in entertaining little clips now and then. doesn't hurt. Make shorts. It was like, I got like five people to watch it in the first like two days it was up, and then literally overnight, 2,500 views. So shorts are kind of crazy right now. Anyway behind the scenes crap you don't necessarily care next video was the larger part of that where i took one of my uh, streaks from a car 98 gameplay in modern warfare i got a good five kill kind of streak and i thought it was instructive so i decided as kind of one of my first supplemental wheezy's war college videos to do a streak breakdown uh, where i kind of telestrate and walk you through my thought process uh, of a streak and so I think it's going to be an interesting uh, addition, like an interesting supplement to Wheezy's War College. I'm planning on doing these pretty regularly. I'm trying to get some actual War College content like this or a full module um, out like once a week just because I really I want that vibe of teaching you guys how to shoot people in the face to be like a more regular part of this. So here is a clip from that breakdown. Um, it, can be, it can be important to realize that sometimes you get in a situation where right here I'm looking kind of low for people to um, to shoot at basically along this area. I haven't really caught sight of this, you know, dark skinned character just yet. Wow, that sounded racist. Um, so as I aim down here, I, when I start taking damage, you know, I immediately see that that shot came from up here. And so my instinct is one of two things. One is to try and return fire try to get a shot up there. If I had an automatic weapon, this might be a push that I could do a little bit better, but I'm running a naked car 98. So I've got decent range. I know if I can hit a one shot headshot or upper body shot that I could probably get a kill with this, but I've got no scope. 
Um, and he's got the advantage. He's already shooting at me, and I'm not even aiming at him, so I have to cover this distance um, while I'm already taking damage. So yeah, if you missed that one, definitely go check it out. It hasn't got a lot of traction yet. I'm, I'm going to have to figure out how to how to make that appealing, how to kind of get people's attention and make them understand that these breakdowns are part of a larger uh, Weezy War College series. But they're all going to end up in the playlist. Uh, I've created a page for that on my website, WeezysGaming.com. For those of you who don't know, I have a full website that I maintain that kind of... It, it's kind of self-maintaining right now in that it's kind of like I tie the feeds together between YouTube and there. So. There are bigger plans for it in the future. Right now, it's just a great place to make sure that you can easily navigate all of my content off of YouTube. And, you know, WheeziesGaming.com, just go check it out. Take a look around. I've also got some supplemental material in there for the Wheezy's War College series. So, worth a look. Um, the last thing that I updated this week, I was only... I'm getting kind of a rhythm of, like, four pieces of content, four videos, and a re weekly wrap-up is the idea. Um, but this week, with the Season 3 mid-season update in Cold War coming out, and they added this 80s-themed um, playlist and stuff like that, and like John McClane from Die Hard and Rambo, like there was this challenge where it's like, get these Become War medals, get 25 of them as part of the series of unlocks for this event. And I had to try and look up what that meant, what you had to do to get the medal. There's not much online about it. Like, there's not much... When there's something like that, I find that it's actually important to actually get that out to help people. So I hurried up, created a video to explain what the fuck the Become War medals are. Because, spoiler alert, they're wrong in multiplayer because Treyarch's retarded. But, anyway, here's a clip from that video. I'm just going to show you what it is. So under medals, because Treyarch likes to screw everything up, they managed to fuck this up too. So this is the Become War medal for multiplayer. It is called Fully Loaded, and it is to kill two or more enemies rapidly with an automatic weapon without reloading. So this is the Become War medal. Uh, for this, I would actually recommend Zombies over multiplayer, just because it's much easier, it's much less frustrating, you're not dependent on finding decent lobbies or skill, really. This is just a matter of loading into Zombies, and using a couple of strategies to like guarantee um, that you're going to be getting these uh, medals. So yeah, if you guys wanna go through Cold War, complete the challenges for that event, there's a completionist in me that even though Cold War irritates me, I keep going back to it, and they have these new events, and I keep wanting to, well, I'll just do all these challenges. So that's for the multiplayer ones. There's a separate set of challenges for Warzone. I'm probably gonna end up going through those too. We'll see, although that's not gonna be probably as bad other than I'm not playing much Warzone. But since it's on the Modern Warfare engine, I find Warzone a lot more pleasant in general than Cold War, but that's neither here nor there. That is what is new to the channel this week. I've already been talking a lot. So we will get to the weekly discussion point, which is crossplay. This is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while and I want to get people's opinions on. And more than that, I want to publicly express my wish that this continues to be an industry trend. Back in, you know, the very short term past, right? Last generation consoles, when you picked your console, when you picked your platform, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, you, if you wanted to play with friends or people that you knew or people that you meet through something like your YouTube channel, hi minions, um, you had to have the same platform. So it's like, if you want to play with me on Xbox, you got to play on Xbox. If you want to play with me on PlayStation, you got to play on PlayStation. With crossplay, I can be on my PlayStation and play with people who are on PC or Xbox. It is a game changer, pun intended, and a trend that is increasing, right? Like games like Fortnite and, why did I start with Fortnite? Warzone, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and Cold War. I'm hoping that the new Battlefield game, Battlefield or Battlefield 6 this year, I feel like they can't really buck this trend. So it need, it's need it gotta be cross-play, right? I need that big modern shooter like a new Battlefield game and it needs to be cross-play so that I can play with all of you minions and we can, and it doesn't fucking matter if you're on the PC or if you're on the Xbox, you know, or if you're on the PlayStation. I wanna play some Battlefield with some people. So it feels like the industry is headed to cross-play because they've already got it implemented. Sony's been doing some stuff where they're licensing it. Microsoft's been 
I want to say a little earlier to the game, but that's easier for them because they're trying to simultaneously push their PC platform because they're fucking Windows. So Xbox and PC crossplay is kind of a no fucking duh for Microsoft. Um, so it's been understandable that Sony's been a little bit slower to get on that train, but at the same time, finally, that's starting to happen. So I want to get kind of you guys' opinion on, do you feel like crossplay is here to stay? Do you think it breaks down the things... I talked in another week... Um, a couple weeks back about console exclusives and whether or not they matter anymore. Crossplay makes choosing your team on the consoles, other than exclusive games, also less of an issue. You don't have to get an Xbox just because most of your friends have one if you rather have a PlayStation because you can still play with them on crossplay. I really like that. It's a really great thing, especially for people who aren't like me and don't want to go and buy every console that there is on the market. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think. Is crossplay important? Is it here to stay? What will you do if you're a fan of the Battlefield series? If the new Battlefield doesn't have crossplay? I hope you minions enjoyed this. Check out all the stuff that you missed this week. And uh, yeah, leave comments here, other videos. Interact with me. We're still growing the channel. I'm getting some momentum going. I'm feeling it, feeling good. We're getting new subscribers every day, so welcome to all the new minions. And I will let you guys go, because we're on some minutes now. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!